Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we get into this, I'm gonna put the comment of the day up. If you guys wanna take part in that, all you have to do is leave a comment and I randomly choose them from my new notifications. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, I decided to make my own challenge. I did not see anything like this on um, YouTube whenever I kind of searched and I have been doing or trying to do this video for a long time and I was trying to pretty much put it all into one video and it was just going to be such a long video and nobody wants to sit through an hour long video. It just was not working out how I wanted to. My game would crash. Things just were not working out. And last night a light bulb went into my head and said, why don't you just kind of create your own challenge? I never even thought about making my own challenge because there are so many that I'm pretty sure it's hard to make anything like unique or something that hasn't been done. So I don't think this has been done. It might have been done. I really don't know if you guys know someone who's done this challenge. Let me know uh, in the comments down below. But I didn't have a name for it really. I was going to call it like the knock up challenge, but I kind of think I'm going to go with Casanova challenge. Um, but I'm going to read you the rules that I have and everything I have written down here. And I will have this like in the description down below if you guys want to take part in it. I would think it would be really cool if you guys decided to try the challenge out and tag me if you guys uh, have pictures or videos or whatever the case may be. I would love to see it. So basically the rules for this is to create a male sim. You can create them however you like um, and move them into any world of your choice. I am an Esau parody, so because I am dumb, um, but I just really wanted to play an Esau parody. So uh, only give them two traits that would help with the challenge, such as irresistible, flirty, charismatic, schmoozer, but they must have the commitment issue trait as well. And then you can pick the other two traits. So pretty simple there. Um, choose any lifetime wish that you want, but I suggest Master Romancer are super popular because Master Romancer is just a fun one and super popular. You're going to be making a lot of friends in, in the world because, you know, we have to kind of knock up the whole world. That's kind of the plan here was like use all of the Sims that you possibly can in uh, the world that you choose. Um, so, you know, but it doesn't have to be that. It can be anything that you guys want. Uh, you can choose their favorites, move them into any home your Sim can afford or build your own. Money and having the space are not the main goal here is your sim will not have the babies in their household so you really don't have to worry about having a massive house and tons of money but if that's what you want to do then you have to work for it. Uh, you can have a profession of your choice but you cannot have a job. I suggest an investigator career which is what I am going to do for him uh, because you know you can make your own work hours, you will be chatting with other sims, you'll get to know more sims and you have plenty of time for woohoo and trying for a baby. Uh, you can make money from gardening, collecting gems and metals, getting a pet, you know, those types of things. You can move whenever you've made enough money to do so into whatever home you'd like. If you have Enra's woohooer, do not cheat for quads, but you can purchase a fertility treatment when you get enough points to do so. Don't cheat money, don't cheat for quads, like none of, none of the cheating, we're not doing that. Um, you cannot get married or have a relationship, but you must become a romantic interest before trying for a baby. And then after you try for a baby and it's successful, you must ask to just be friends with the Sim you just got pregnant. Now you can use the same Sims over and over and over, but every single time that you do, you must become romantic interests and then ask to be friends and start all over again, because I feel like that would be kind of harder instead of just going back to the same Sim and being romantic the whole time. like. You have to ask to be friends and they might not like that and, you know, the whole situation. So the goal is to knock up every sim in your world that you possibly can as many times as you can in one sim year. So you have one entire sim year to see how many babies you can make. I don't know how many that's going to be. There's not like a, a goal number. I just want to see how many sims we can knock up and how many babies we can have by the end of one sim year. I think it'd be quite interesting. So uh, if you have Inraz, you cannot try for a baby until you've befriended the sim and have become romantic interest. Because if you have Inraz and Woohoo and all of that, you can kind of just skip the whole thing and just try for a baby. But that's not what we're doing here either. We're going to befriend them and the romantic interest and do that whole situation. But basically just have fun with the challenge. Tag me if you guys to take part, decide to take part in it. Whatever you guys do, you don't have to do the challenge. I just felt like creating a challenge for myself and kind of having some fun because you guys know I like to cause some drama. So that's basically what we're going to do. That is basically what we're going to do here. Um, so this is my sim, Spencer Rain. Kind of funny though, whenever I was 
um, randomizing his name. <laughs> his last name was Mick Hoarder, like, like whore. And I was like, what? This is, I should have kept it, but I just, I couldn't, but I was dying. Um, but that was his original last name, but I, I randomized it again. <laughs> his name is Spencer Rain. Uh, he likes disco, orange, and cheesesteak, and he's a Pisces. I randomized all that also. Uh, but I did go ahead and pick his traits. So he's flirty, loves the outdoors, commitment issues, perceptive, and a schmoozer. Perceptive will help his job because I will have him in the, uh, investigator career. I just think that'll be the easiest thing for us to do where we can meet more sims and, you know, we'll be moving around a lot and we don't have to have it done by a certain time. So that's kind of what I have planned here. I told you guys we are in Isla Paradiso. I, I don't know why. I just really, I really love playing in Isla Paradiso, even though the lag can be pretty crazy sometimes, but I just can't help it. I just can't help it. I have so much love for this world. Uh, this is the house we moved into with the money that we had. Uh, let me go ahead and turn on some lights here. I did give him a CC bed. I got rid of the bed that he had. I just copied the color to it. I got us a shower because there was only a um, bathtub and I, for some reason, cannot stand just plain bathtubs in The Sims. And I gave us a little bit better of the refrigerator and the stove and we are left with 2,510 simoleons. So that is what we are up to. Oh, and I gave him the master romancer who in five different spaces or five different places with five different sims. So that's just kind of what I want to do. I want to have fun with it. You guys know how I like to play my game and I just thought it would be a fun little challenge. Uh, but don't feel like you have to do it. But if you do do the challenge, please let me know if you guys are going to take part in it and, you know, kind of how your challenge goes. So for him, I am going to try to work up to the 10,000 points for our fertility treatment. I mean, you can pretty much get any lifetime happiness points or whatever you want with with that because there's really I'm not really worried about the aging or nothing like that. Uh, but we're just going to head over to the library, which is over here. We're going to head over to the library. And the first thing I'm going to have him do is work on uh, creating a dating profile and getting that whole situation started. So we're starting on Sunday, week one, day one in summer. So when we reach summer Sunday again, that's that's going to be the one sim year. And that is when we have to stop the challenge and see what what has happened and how many babies we had. Now, I did a video similar to this like a year ago. Um, it wasn't really rule based. I was just trying to see how many babies we could have. And I think I ended up with like 31. But that was only in like two, two or three sim weeks. I am doing this for, for a whole sim year. So this will be a whole whole different thing. And <laughs> I'm kind of curious to see how many babies we will end up making. Oh, look, there's already a baby, but there is a lady walking in here that we might have to, you know, go say hi to and see what the situation is. Um, he wants to learn a skill, flirt, and meet someone new. And honestly, um, we're just gonna, I, I mean, I know her husband is literally right here, but we're just gonna be friendly right now. We're just gonna introduce her, uh, or introduce ourselves to her and see kind of what what's okay what um okay what is what is that i don't know can we just can we just visit or not visit can we just talk to her i mean please come on just oh my god no 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 see we're supposed to be friendly introducing ourselves to her we don't we don't care about our child oh my goodness okay let's try that again all right let's get to know her and see let's ask about her career wait a minute oh my Oh my God, girl, you are literally, do you even know what you have coming to you? Like really, you, she, yeah. You know what? It wasn't even me. I really genuinely thought it would be my Sim, but she said, I find him so cute that I just need to <laughs> flirt with him. Um, I sure wish Matthew Mango would just get out of the way because he's making this a very, very awkward situation. I mean, like bro, like go away. Go away. So she's a workaholic, so she will love it if we applaud her hard work. Oh my gosh, I shouldn't have asked her about alma mater because I think that really ticks off the workaholics. Yeah, I don't know what it is about that, but it makes them so mad. Uh, so let's apologize for that and applaud her hard work. I don't know what it is, but they never enjoy when you ask them that. <laughs> okay, we're going to move over to the... PC really quick because I do want to get his dating profile 
kind of up and running so that we can start meeting some sims. And I'm also going to get him his profession so we can kind of have everything all settled. Alrighty, so here we go. Let's see what our profile says. We're not going to lie, I don't think. Maybe or maybe should take the commitment issue off. No, you know what? We're not even going to lie. We're just going to go ahead and save the profile. We're not even going to bother. Okay, browse online profiles. Let's go ahead and do that maybe a couple of times to... Okay, there we go. Uh, Valerie, we're just going to send to as many sims that we can just so we can start getting to know some people. Tomorrow will be the festival so we can go there and see if there are any sims like out and about. I don't think she's very happy in her marriage. I mean, I'm just saying, I just don't think so she is. So we went ahead and had him pretty much message every single person that he could on the, uh, I almost said on the lifeguard because I was reading that, on the dating website. So we're going to get him a job as, where is it? Oh my gosh, why isn't the investigator profession here? Okay, well, we're just going to have to go um, I think it's over, is it City Hall or is it Police Station? It's Police Station. Let's go over here and join the investigator career and kind of get our self all set up. First parts are always kind of boring, so I apologize because we're just kind of getting set up. But we are going to try to maybe invite her over because she seemed down. She seemed down to, um, you know, get flirty with us. So maybe... If her husband isn't around, we can get some woohoo in and knock her up right off the bat. That would be quite nice. But we're going to get our profession and we need to get some food because he is starving. So she did say she's going to come over. I have him making some food because he is super hungry. Um, I'm hoping he's not going to be too tired, but we will see kind of how this works. I'm just waiting for her to arrive uh, and hopefully maybe we can have our first baby in this part? That would be pretty Not great. Not sure if this is going to work because he is pretty dang exhausted, but we're going to try our best here to get at least the friendship up that we can maybe, maybe make this a thing. Okay, like stand up please so that we can chat with you. I know you're so tired, but boy, just chill for a moment. We're going to flatter her also and see if this is going to work. Applaud her hard work. Workaholics are pretty easy to befriend when you applaud their hard work because for some reason they just freaking love that. Okay, let's see. Acquaintance, are we friends yet? Are we friends yet? Not quite, not quite. Okay, now we're friends, perfect. So now we can try the flirting. So we're friends, she thinks we're being sociable. Okay, now she's not taking the romantic advances. So we might have to butter her up a little bit more um let's let's praise her and maybe let's see should we should we ask her to stay the night i don't know if that'll really work out maybe so she's should. staying the night and we have gotten flirty because we're now good friends and she is definitely feeling the whole situation you want to have a great date with her uh, let's go ahead and lock that in. Ooh, she has a good sense of humor. Okay, we might be able to make this work. She's, we're being very alluring. Let's go ahead and confess our attraction to her because we need to make sure that we are romantic interests. Okay, and let's, let's toss in our first kiss. Ooh, he is... He's going for it. Oh my goodness. I have to get I think a photo. I'm going to get a photo every single time that he like woos somebody just because it's funny. Okay. Um, so we're being extremely irresistible. He wants to woo, uh, woohoo her. So we're going to, I almost said woo her, woohoo with her. So we're going to try for a baby right here and right now before I get ready to wrap up the first part, which I'm super excited. I feel like this is exactly what I needed. And I'm very excited for it. I truly, truly am. Okay, let's hope this works, girl. Let's go. Because then whenever we're done, we got to we gotta tell you to go and we're just going to be friends. So hope you don't okay, hate us. Here we go. Let's fingers crossed that we have our first baby on the way. Okay, we got to listen for the sound. Okay, dude, we got to start off strong here. So come on. There it is. There it is. So now we have to get up and, and tell her we just want to be friends. So no, no, we're we're getting up. Yeah, we're getting up. We're going to get up so that, yeah, please wake up. What is, what is that? 
What is that? Okay, we need to be mean to her. Come on. Why won't you wake up, bro? Okay, he finally got up. He was just not having it. But we're going to come over here and ask to just be friends. And he wants to meet someone new already, which is perfect. So let me go back to that. Um, there we go. I'm like, where, where is it? She's going to hate it. She's going to okay. hate it. We're asking to just be friends. You can't even get mad. You're married. You can't. Oh, she's mad. She's mad. Okay, listen, you're married. Just mind your business, okay? Just bye. Goodbye. We'll, we'll see you soon, though. I, once you pop that baby out, we will see you soon. I promise so you So we that. went ahead and asked her to leave, so she is donezo for now, but we're still pretty decent friends with her, so hopefully we can come back around and it won't be too difficult to butter her up again. But that is it for the first part of this challenge. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below if you plan on taking part in it. Leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, all of that fun stuff. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video.